Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today we're bringing you the size comparison video with the Galaxy Mega 6.3. Now the Mega is a very, very big phone. Um, one-handed, it's very light, very thin, but uh, definitely not the easiest to use one-handed, no matter how you try. It's really a two-handed phone for the most part. Um, you can swipe around and do certain things, but for things like texting, it's gonna need two hands. There's no way around it. So, today we're gonna compare these, this screen to the other screens out in Samsung's market, which is comparing to the Note 2 that was once thought to be the biggest size we could use. And this is how the Mega looks right next to it. I think that's something. Let's scoot this over and put it to Samsung's main flagship, which is none other than the Galaxy S4. So, we can see how that compares to it. So, if you were thinking the S4 was a phone that was too big, well, there you go. So, now let's just check out more than just the screen size. So now we'll try uh, one thing, and that is how it would be to read a book on here. Uh, statistically, now we found out that uh, more people read uh, books on their phones than actually their tablets, surprisingly. So, being as that uh, is, let's see how it is when we have a book that is the same on each tablet. Just want to make sure each is sized properly. And let's check it out on each of them. And so we can see all different, are all at the top brightness. Uh, this one's are, but not this one. Okay. So let's check it out. And let's see the difference in the text. So you can see that out of all of them here, it looks like actually the note is giving us the most um, overall, although it kind of starts this part lower. I'm not sure why exactly that is. Um, let me make sure I have the indent the same. Yep, everything should be the same. Um, yeah, the text is all the same size. So, uh, we can see that out of all the phones here, uh, the Note actually gives us a little bit more text um, on this, all of these. Whereas the S4, I can go one lower, uh, which then gives that one the most text available. So uh, again, this one's a 1080p screen, so let me move into this way so we can see. Again, the S4 has the better screen resolution, but just so we can see how the text is. And now we can move this one over here to see how the text is between those two. And now let's take a look at a video on each of these. So. We will have a video on each of them. Now this is the same video to their native resolution. So these two will have a 720p video and this one will have a 1080p video. Now, let's try to play each of these at the same time. I see the GS4, the more I want one. Then you should get one. I just feel locked in. I mean, they have smart switch that transfers everything over for you. I don't know if I feel like learning how to use another phone. You had to learn how to use your phone at one point, didn't you? Yeah. And you don't think you can do that again? I see what you did there. You got a mattress in the bathroom. Thanks for having us over. Yeah. Easily transfer text, contacts, music, and more with smart switch on the Galaxy S4. And that was a video so on all three. Samsung, but you don't want to lose their that one was on autoplay. So that was to give you a screen comparison idea. 
between these three top phones. If you have any questions on those, feel free to ask. This has been RICKY, the Android guy.